What's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, today I'm just going to be speaking something God has put in my heart. It was a while back I was <clears throat> I was with someone I knew and we were watching these people get baptized in a lake and he started telling me about this story how this young man was uh, thrashing around in a lake and he went to go try to save him like dive in and with a drowning person it's like if they're in that panic mode there's been times where you know they'll actually drown someone else um you know just because of how frantic they are so like when he was saying this i just felt like like god was ministering to me and was like You know, you can't really get help out of a certain situation until you stop, like, struggling so hard. And I thought about it in my own life was like, you know, things got better, not as I tried harder, but as I surrendered more. And there's been times where I've, you know, thrashed my way into just complete exhaustion you know, and uh, basically it was at that point where things started to get better when I didn't have the strength to do it myself when I finally like surrendered and realized like it's not in my own strength, it's not in my own power. Um, and I feel like this is meant for somebody, you know, like if you're tired, you have to surrender, you have to submit to God, you have to rest in him. Right, and one, one way that this played out in my life was like I told part of this testimony and it was I can't tell I'm not going to retell the whole thing but when I had ended up in jail God spoke to me and he told me be still and know that I'm God and that comes from a psalm and it's like sometimes we think that we have to do all these things and like achieve and perform and perfect and all it's like you know we play a role in this but the, the best thing we can do is to just submit and be still, you know? And I kind of wanted to talk about also, you know, in, in the gang stalking is like, what I realized with a lot of it is like, they're almost playing you against yourself. So they, they study you and they watch your reactions. They watch what gets you you know, in, in fear and in anger, you know, and they play, they play these situations against you. And I believe they somehow feed off your, the energy that like the fear produces and all this stuff. That's kind of another topic, but I wanted to talk about, talk about how uh, you really have to own your own reactions. It's like, you can't, you can't always be focused outward and then work through these things. It's like you have to be still. You have to analyze things and stop being so react reactive. You know, our, our reactions are very re fleshly, like, responses, right? It's like, it's almost like involuntarily. Like, we respond when, when we react versus respond. It's very quick and it's very like um, off of instinct, you know, but to be still and to be, you know, noticing things, but not giving reactions to everything. It's like, because I really noticed is like they want your reactions. And so it's like, you got to put on your poker face and just like cruise through things. Like when people are trying to get you to react you know, choose a response and it might be silence. It might be not even acknowledging what they're doing, right? Because they want your focus. They want your energy. They want your, um, your anxieties to go towards them. They want their, your fear to go towards them. But it's like, if you can focus on God, if you can put your, um, focus on God, you know, Isaiah 26 and three says that he will keep a, keep in perfect peace, a mind that stayed on him because he trusts in him, right? So as we put our eyes on Jesus and we put our trust and our faith in him, he will allow us to stay in peace. But 
when our attention and energy is going to uh, things that are happening, you know, circumstances and things like we tend to get anxious, you know, and I feel like that's why a lot of times there's just all that noise around us, you know, whether it's actual sounds or situations, you know, with the street theater, you know, all the crazy movement of the vehicles and people doing weirdo stuff around you and saying weird things. It's like all of it, you think about the fruit of that, like, what does that do to you? It's like, it's all taking your attention. It's all taking your peace. And it's like, when you're not at peace, you can't prosper. <laughs> you know, the, the conflict, the inner conflict that we're in, the anxiety and the fear and the, and the hate and all this, like, you know, it's, it has a certain, like, you know, I'm not trying to get like new agey, but it has a certain vibration. It has a certain feeling and energy to it where it's like, you stay, you stay, um, on that frequency and there's no elevating. Right. And it's like, um, you know, peace, stewarding peace and having peace. It's like, that's something on our, on the inside. Right. And it's like, we give our peace to these situations and it's, when we're going through the gang stalking, there's so much crazy stuff. That's like wanting our attention, you know? And so that's my point with all this is just like, choose, a response and don't react your reactions are going to be giving you bad um, outcomes when you choose your response you're going to take in account everything that's going on you know so don't give them what they want don't give them your energy don't give them your fear don't give them your peace don't give them you know, your effort and all this stuff, it's like, you have to stop falling into these like surface level traps of, you know, <laughs> biting, biting on the hooks, bunch of hooks out there. So yeah, hope this is helpful to someone. Um, that's all I got for today. Check you later.